Hi everybody, welcome back to my tutorial and today I will help you save a few hundred bucks by connecting this first gen Apple Pencil with the new iPad um, Air 5 that I have here. So currently if you look on um, Apple's website, this Apple Pencil is not compatible with the new iPads. Um, it's only compatible with the older iPads and this would require a newer, uh, the second gen Apple Pencil which has the magnetic charger. Um, this does not have the magnetic charger as the old port charger and because the new iPads have a different port back here, um, this pencil will not charge on here anymore and connect because before that was the only way to connect to the iPad. So I found a workaround way to connect your Apple Pencil, uh, your old Apple Pencil to the iPad so you can save a few hundred bucks. And this is what you need. So you just need um, the charger cable for the iPad. So it has this head and this end. And if you bought this new, you would have had this connector piece in the box. I had to actually go and dig it up because I didn't even know if I had this anymore, but I do. Um, this is for charging um, your Apple Pencil if you weren't charging it to the iPad before. So this actually came in handy after all these years, so I dug it up and this is what we're going to use it for. So as you can see right now, um, the Apple Pencil is not connected, and if you go into Bluetooth here, there's no other device. It's not connected. So, um, so this is how we're going to connect it now. So you want to download an app called Light Blue that looks like this right here. And um, once you have that app, I suggest you trying to charge this Apple Pencil first because um, if it's completely dead, then it won't connect. Um, and then getting this cord and plugging it into your iPad and then using this connector to connect to your Apple Pencil like this. So now it's all connected. So what you need to do here is go into this app And it'll search for all the Bluetooth items near its surroundings. I don't know what kind of app this is, but it's pretty cool. Um, it'll find all the apps near you. And then because you're connected now, it'll see the Apple Pencil right here. And then you just need to click, um, press on it. And I don't know how they came with up uh, with this code but the password is one two three four and um once you put this code in you put pair and then i'll say it's connected here and you're pretty much good to go at this point and you just need to go back into your bluetooth and now apple pencil is connected and you can use your apple pencil now and it also shows on your dock that it's connected and it's charging right now because it's connected to the cable. So I hope you enjoyed this tip um, to save a few hundred bucks. And if you are getting a new Apple iPad for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, or Christmas, you'll know now that you can still continue using this old Apple Pencil without buying a new one. And I have to tell you though, one annoying thing is I got this pad and it actually doesn't fit properly for the Apple Pencil because the old one is a bit longer. But for a few hundred dollars, I am willing to deal with this because I don't really bring it out with me much. So this is still fine for me. Um, I will wait until I feel comfortable upgrading my pencil. But for now, I can use this like I did before. 
and it writes completely fine. All right, thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See you on the next one. Bye.